অর্গানাইজেশনাল পারফরম্যান্স এবং ইন্ডিভিজুয়াল পারফরম্যান্সের সাথে ইমোশনাল ইন্টেলিজেন্স কিভাবে সম্পৃক্ত সে নিয়ে আমি কথা বলবো ওয়েলকাম টু দ্য শাহিদুল একাডেমি ওয়ান্স এগেন এবং আজ যারা নতুন আমার ভিডিওটি দেখছেন আই উড লাইক টু রিকোয়েস্ট অল অফ ইউ টু সাবস্ক্রাইব দ্য চ্যানেল অ্যান্ড অ্যাক্টিভেট দ্য বেল বাটন টু গেট আপডেট নোটিফিকেশন হাউ ইমোশনাল ইন্টেলিজেন্স ইজ কানেক্টেড টু ইয়োর ইন্ডিভিজুয়াল পারফরম্যান্স অ্যান্ড দ্য অর্গানাইজেশনাল পারফরম্যান্স নাম্বার ওয়ান দ্য ভ্যালু অফ অপটিমিজম পিপল উইথ হাই লেভেল অফ ইমোশনাল ইন্টেলিজেন্স অলসো do have the high level of optimism optimism is a very positive so if you see the roadblock in your sales target the person with the optimism basically think this is a external factor it is very temporary which will be resolved very soon on the other hand the person who is pessimist they think this is permanent they don't act accordingly so the person who can control their emotional intelligence and take responsive actions to you know mitigate or to resolve the fact that increase their capability of optimism so especially for those who are engaged in self oriented job they should have the high level of emotional intelligence as if they have the high level of emotional intelligence they will automatically grow their optimisms inside optimisms has been proven to be the better predictors of uh, performance of sales person number 2 savings from ei or emotional intelligence especially in the recruitment process of a defense person they do uh, assessments of emotional intelligence because if they can select the persons with high level of emotional intelligence they can and employ retention rate they can control the migration rate because the persons with high level of emotional intelligence do have the power of empathy happiness assertiveness self awareness so by doing the emotional intelligence or ei assessment test we are basically controlling the recruitment cost we are basically saving the cost for the company because to perform a recruitment process a company is bearing a huge in terms of time in interviewers in terms of the advertisement cost in terms of the venue cost all the things so if we can ensure the persons whom we are recruiting they are the most appropriate persons for the company by assessing their license power by assessing their emotional intelligence that means they will be sustainable for the company they will be more aware they will be more focused they will be more positive so if we can ensure the migration rate in a minimum level that means the company will be benefited so thus we can control cost savings through ei number 3 emotionally intelligent leaders basically multiple studies have shown that the most successful leaders in the organization are those that have higher level of emotional intelligence one study examined 300 leaders who are leading as a executive level in 15 international organizations they have found that the truly exceptional performers in the group were strong in six particular emotional competences and these six particular emotional competences are drive for achievement leadership team leading self confidence organizational awareness and influence in a study at a large beverage company the difference in hiring methods was studied in cases where division presidents were hired with traditional methods 50% of them left within 2 years most of them left due to poor performance when the company switched to using emotional competencies as a selection factor for divisional presidents only 6% of them left in next 2 years however the difference didn't stop there the ones that were chosen based on their emotional intelligence were more likely to be in the top third of performance rating and also surpassed their performance target by between 15 and 20 percent so emotional intelligence has been shown to be more important in rising to the top of an organizations than cognitive competences 
Number four, AI, emotional intelligence with safer and happier workplace. Yes, another study showed that AI could have an impact on safety and labor relations in a manufacturing environment. In one plant, supervisors were trained in AI competencies related to listening to employees and helping them have the self-confidence to solve problems to their own. The results were impressive and possibly unexpected. Formal grievances reduced by 80%. The plant passed their production goals by a quarter of a million dollars and lost time accidents were cut in half. So now we can understand the importance of the emotional intelligence. If we can ensure the emotional intelligence test during the interview sessions, we can ensure these all four aspects what I have discussed now. The next sessions will cover the model of emotional intelligence.